Hi y'all, it's Sunshine. I'm gonna try to make it through without coughing, so wish me luck. Um, I finally got cough medicine. You know, even though I was been sick since Thursday night, Friday. But um, somebody keep he keeps saying, "Oh, I'm gonna get you cough medicine," and then anyway. So, uh, y'all, do not take this as a cry for help. But it would not hurt my feelings the way I feel right now, the way I feel about the situation, about everything going on in the background. It would not hurt my feelings one bit if Jesus decided to come down and take me right now. If he said, hey, you want to go? I'd be like, let's do this. Book it. We're out. That's how I feel right now. And, um... And it's not just because I'm sick. It's just because of everything going on in the background that I can't talk about. And no, I'm not trying to help myself out of here. But if the opportunity arises, I'm going to take it. So, you know, if he decides to tomorrow afternoon after lunch, he decides, hey, we're going to go. Well, I'm like, let's go. Let's, let's go. I'll take it. You know, pack up my dollies and leave. <laughs> I'm down for that. So, you know, it's whatever. Um, I tried to eat a little bit today. Um, I hadn't eaten since Saturday. And, uh, thankfully, I have only myself to blame because I'm the only one taking care of me. Um, you know, but when you're sick, you don't have the energy to do anything. You know, and, and it's only you. You don't have anybody checking on you or anything. So... It's been rough, but I manage all my life, no matter what man I was with, I've always had to take care of myself. So, you know, I've just learned to do it myself. Um, and I'll keep taking care of myself. I'm not very good at it, but I try. Anyway, so, um, I started a flu blanket. I should not be crocheting when I'm with the flu, I know. It's probably germy, but I'll spray some Lysol on it or run it through the washer real quick or something. I don't know. Let me show you what I've got going. I've got to put this down. You might still can hear me with it down here. I don't know. I, I need to get on that wireless mic situation so I can have the tripod mic in front of me. But here's what I've got so far. Now, this is using all my blues, browns. Right, uh, greens scraps I'm just going through here with them sorry hon I, I'm having a hard time breathing I feel like I'm drowning really I feel like I am drowning and it sucks but anyway here's what I've got so far I don't have any color placement ideas I'm just grabbing and going I've got a tote beside me and I'm just making it happen. And it's huge. I can't fit it all on the screen. But I'm just taking random balls of crap. And uh, not crap. They're loving balls that I love them. Wait, why are we falling? Y'all grab a helmet. Hurry. Okay, let's try that. Y'all survive that? Okay. So, anyway. Um, I'm, I got my CPAP supplies today and I got to switch out parts. Thankfully I did because y'all, I don't know what in the hell I'm doing wrong, but I hate this machine. I really hate this machine and I really hate myself for allowing them for, uh, for talking me into a sleep study. I was doing just fine dying in the middle of the night. I had no problem with it, you know, and then I get put on this stupid machine I've only been on it three months. And I've already had stab infection. I've bronchitis. Now I've got the freaking flu. I'm over it. I am over this. I hope when I go to heaven, I don't need a CPAP machine because I'm not taking it. When he comes and packs up my dollies, we are not taking the CPAP machine. Nope. Ain't happening. So, you know. But... I know there's a voice in, in, in my, 
I think it's God's voice. I don't know. But there's a voice in my head that no matter how much I beg him to come get me, he's telling me it's not my time yet. That I'm here to do something in this world. I don't know exactly what it is. I know that I feel like I'm doing a service. I feel like I'm doing my calling of crochet. But I wonder if there's something else he has planned for me. And I guess I have to stick around and find out. So that'll be interesting, you know, to see what's in store. But um, it's like, dang, how long do I need to wait before you come get me? Because I'm, I'm like, you know how when you were little, well, no, nobody knows. I mean, if you didn't come from a divorced family life, then you probably don't know. But when you were a little kid sitting on the sidewalk with your bags packed, waiting for your dad or your mom to come visit, come pick you up for their weekly visit, weekend visit or whatever. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm sitting on the curb with my little bag of stuff, waiting for him to come get me. I am. I'm like, God, let's do this. I, I've got my dolly's pet. CPAP is in the fireplace. I'm sitting on the curb waiting. Come and get me. So, you know, it's, but I gotta wait. So I'm gonna so keep sitting on the curb and waiting. And while I'm waiting, I'll crochet the flu blanket. So, anyway, guys, um, I had to miss church on Sunday because I didn't want anybody sick. Because hmm, that's horrible. So, um, I hope to be there next Sunday, though. If I get the stupid machine to quit giving me whatever it's giving me. So, anyway, guys, y'all take care. Spread peace, love, and kindness. And give a smile to a stranger. Love you guys.